Major League Baseball Hall of Fame voting appears to be somewhat of a sham. I know that you have a... I don't think it's a sham. You do either. not think it's a sham. No. Really? Okay, so we'll get into that in a moment. Dan Levitard gave his ballot to Deadspin, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that you've heard about this. And basically his quote was, I'm not sure what kind of trouble this is going to bring me. I imagine I'll probably have my vote stripped, but I don't want to be a part of the present climate without reform anyway. Given that climate, doing this has more impact than my next 20 years of votes as sanctionary bars the Hall of Fame door on the steroid guys. Because in a climate without reform, my next 20 years of votes will be counted but not actually heard at least this gets it heard for better or for worse before i get to you for just one second dan levitard and deadspin teamed up deadspin wanted to buy a hall of fame vote they did dan they Le they it didn't. was revealed to be dan levitard's the money that he got is going straight to charity it's not going to him and they had the audience decide who they believe i, be not, I didn't think it went to charity either but he didn't sell it uh, he didn't profit from it in any way. No, I'm yeah. saying whatever he would, whatever he would have received, they said is going to charity. Um, I, I don't, you know, he shouldn't have sold it. He shouldn't have given his vote away. But I understand why he did it. He did it principally. I wouldn't punish him really at all. I might right. strip his vote. The principally problem, is the, the big the word Hall there. of Fame voting is flawed in that there's so many people who don't follow baseball voting for the frickin' Hall of Fame, and Bob Costas and Keith Olbermann and a host of other people. Vin Scully. Don't vote. Joe it's Buck. insane. It's insane. Jerry Coleman, who just passed away, didn't have a Hall of Fame vote. Well, he did because he's in the... No, he's not. No, so, he's not. So he, Jerry Coleman didn't have a vote. So that's crazy. You got to write for 10 years. You got to yeah. write about the game for 10 years. And then after that, if you wanted to go into the wine and cheese selling business, yeah. after so, 10 years, you still have your vote. And you should be able to put more than 10 guys on the ballot because in this year, there's... I'm starting to think they should just put the steroid guys in the Hall of Fame. Obviously, Greg Maddox, Frank Thomas, and Tom Glavin were elected to the Hall of Fame. And then Mike Piazza and Jeff Bagwell didn't because they're tainted with the steroid brush and Frank Correct. Thomas isn't. We don't really have any basis for that at all. It's what we think. Right. We don't know. Well, he's been active against the whole steroid era. Has Whatever. Frank Thomas. Jeff Bagwell's denied it. I don't know. Jeff, no, Bag yeah, but I'm Jeff Frank, Bagwell said if I'd taken steroids, I could have had 60 home runs. Frank Thomas has gone above and beyond keep... compared to Jeff Bagwell. But we don't know. You don't know. Frank Thomas might have done steroids. You don't know. He was a great player. He might have, but he's made more of an argument than Jeff Bagwell has. Okay, I got it, but we don't know. We're guessing on Bagwell. So you're saying put the steroid era guys in. We have about 30 seconds, 10 seconds left. Uh, you're saying put the steroid guys era, the, the, the guys from the steroid Either era Either don't in. vote for anybody from that era or, or, or just take it, the stats. Baseball counts the stats. You're going to have to count it. I think we got to move. I think we got to move past it. So no asterisk or anything. Put Bonds, put Clemens, put all of them in. Or don't vote for anybody from this era, but you can't you, you can't, can't you can't yeah. parse it and win an argument, I don't think. Sure.